This is the most accepted depiction of the political compass, at least here in the US. The colors and categories may be different in Europe or Australia. It's not a perfect chart, to be sure. I mean, don't ask me why activists is in the middle or moderate position economically. I think we're using different definitions since activists, to my experience, tend to be on the extremes. And these extremes represent degrees of balance between capitalism and socialism horizontally and vertically between authoritarianism and anarchy. And notice that liberalism is shown on the axis, dead center of the compass. Seems that the libtards are actually moderates, as moderate as you can get. But let's say you were a liberal since way back and you never changed. Over the course of our lives, both Republicans and Democrats have shifted further and further to the right. That's the Bushes, the Clintons, Obama and Trump, they're all on the right. So that the liberals are now on the left relative to everyone else. And that's why every liberal I've ever met identifies as a leftist and everyone who hates liberals complains that they're leftists. Likewise, progressivism is shown here on the right, referring to the progressive era of the early 20th century. But those who identify as progressive today, myself included, are actually on the left, along with at least half of America's working people, by the way. Both liberal and progressive are contested concepts, but I think modern progressives have a different definition than the progressive movement from a century ago, and so this chart should probably be updated accordingly. <laughs> I knew I was not on the left.